ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Ben, but you can call me the Bad Light. Welcome back to Doki Doki Mindfuckery Club. I mean, Literature Club. Literature Club is what I meant to say. When we last left off, um, we read everybody's poems for the first time, and we had a bit of a spat that turned into a mindfuckery, and Natsuki decided to run off. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what the fuck just happened with the whole close-up thing. That made me feel very uncomfortable. But without further ado, let's begin. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Ben, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. <laughs> what? Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. <laughs> Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ben. It would be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I'm sorry for causing the trouble. <laughs> Fuck! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy fuck. What the fuck is going on? I, I, okay, I guess I'm writing my own poem again. Okay, um. Electricity. Amazing. Anxiety. Did you just have a different face on there? Broken. You did have a different face, didn't you? Um, adventure, despise, time, whatever the fuck that word is, um, intellectual, incongruence, determination, question, philosophy, treasure, scars, tenacious, unstable, Eternity. Disoriented. I want to pick that so badly, but I know. Explode. Crimson. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over the past couple of days here. I don't know why. Entering the clubroom, the usual scene greets me. Oh, hi, Yuri. Welcome, 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 Ah, hi, Yuri. I think you're missing pieces. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, whatever that expression might be. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. There she is. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. 
Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet, thank god. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri... I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You didn't have to worry too much. Even though I'm, I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems? But whatever it was... Fuck you, phone. 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 Whatever it was... It didn't make me think any less of you. I already decided that there was no way you can be a bad person. And now that you are apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, ben, don't say those things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Me too. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing... Whoa. Whoa, you... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri clearly... Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. What the fuck? I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Uh, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> but. Ah. Uh, please stop that. Please stop that. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you'd secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you are kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. <laughs> huh, there you are. <laughs> um, about that. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not! Yeah, what did those lips say? What did those lips say? 
What took you so long anyway? <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. There he is. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> Monica looks at me. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. I keep looking over at Natsuki like I'm expecting something else to happen to her now. <laughs> Monica pushes both girls off into the cataclysms of mayhem and smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck! Dance, motherfucker. Not... Not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Ben? Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood... I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time t together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I I'm sorry. My heart. It just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try and calm down. Ooh. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to m mention for yourself as well. I am just seeing that for the very fucking first time. Oh my god. Sayuri? What is that doing in the room? Why? Can, can I... Oh, shit. Um, fuck. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the end of the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism. Z dot com. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom, where I can see that photo again. <laughs> it's not like that this time. She's just filling up a water pitcher to make tea. <laughs> Take 
Ten minutes pass. Yuri said she wouldn't take long. The photo is gone. <laughs> it's gone. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest watering fountain. I start heading down the hallway. I heard that drop. Ha! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm back. Huh? <clears throat> Thanks for waiting patiently. Ben, do you like oolong tea? I do like oolong tea. Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. What was that? Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided... <clears throat> and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. I... Ah. Uh. <clears throat> You're always worrying about me, Ben. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know... I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Ben, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, was that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ha, ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh... M my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? You dense motherfucker. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. You dense motherfucker. Unless I was making that comment so that she didn't have to say it like that. Okay. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, huh. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small little chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit t against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. 
Except this time. Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. <clears throat> Yuri slides closer until her shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less ap when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with the hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. You dance motherfucker. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Focus. After a few minutes, I finally managed to, to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to, to finish opening the wrapper. Oh, you can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Ah, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might sm get smudged on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. Ooh, sexy looking. Oh, her eyes are twinkling. That's cool. She holds it that so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her arm, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here! I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <laughs> Pocky. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Ben? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. The music stopped. Why did the music stop? Oh, hi. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Oh. Ben. Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Ben. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Ben. Why is it darker? I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Ben? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? Okay, it is a heartbeat. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. What was with those eyes? It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Okay, I'm a little creeped out. Please take them eyes away from me, please. <laughs> Sometime today would be great. I would love that so much. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Why? Why is this so creepy? 
<laughs> Monica, thank you for breaking the, um, whatever the fuck that was. Um, um, it's time to say the things. I'm saving the episode here. Or I'm ending the episode here. I'm doing something with the episode here. I'm... <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Oh, what do you guys seem to? So, if you like what you saw, read something, I don't know anymore. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Game on!